Hi right, guys, welcome back. Right, today we are playing with Excavator Clay. Um, this is the first time I've actually attempted um, to use this stuff. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Now, when I started this video um, a few weeks ago, um, I decided that I wanted to do a background. Um, I've never seen one done using this stuff. Um, so I proceeded and done the background. The trouble is, um, the background, once it's dried, it all cracked and started crumbling away from the um, rear of the enclosure. So, um, we ripped it all out. And the good stuff about this um, excavator clay is if you do something wrong, you can just rehydrate it and um, you can just use it again. Um, so, that's what we did. Um, the original background was all cracked and it was pulling away. So, we're going to join it back now to my idea of what to solve this issue. So without further ado, let's get on with it. All right guys, as you saw from the first picture, it looks all right, but then when it dried, it all cracked. So what we're gonna do, I've cut some mesh. So we're gonna layer up, get up in a few bits of mesh to give it a bit more strength. Um, the good thing about this stuff is ex excavator clay is that you can reuse it. So this is an experiment, it's the first time I've done it. So let's get uh, to do the next bit. So as you can see, I've just done a couple of bits of mesh in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the clay all the way through. Hopefully this will give it a lot more strength to hold up on the background. it down and push it right down through the mesh. You should give it more stability, get more strength. First one there. I'm going to try and layer it up a bit. So we're doing the first one on here. Just push it down. And then we'll add another bit of mesh. So we sort of layer it up. Uh, hopefully this will give it a bit more strength. crevices made it nice and flat so see so when when this dries I want it to be like a you know not perfect not totally smooth anyway what we've done here we made a little dinosaur foot it's just basically a bit of wood I drew a dinosaur foot shape on it and then just cut it out and next thing we're gonna do we're just gonna do just press it in sort of wiggle it about there you go dinosaur footprints so I'm hoping this will like look cool once it's done so we don't want any too 
laid down because obviously we're going to make the tunnels and it, everything. into a T-Rex enclosure. So now what we're gonna do, because all this is wet and it's gonna take ages to dry, um, we'll leave this one until it dries out and then come back to the next bit. Right, now the back's dry. As you can see, there's a few little cracks, but I think that makes the background, I've tested the background, the background's got rock solid, but I think that's a nice effect. So now what we're going to do, we're going to add the rest of the sub. Now with this, the excavator kit, you come get with glue and the excavator tube. Now this is to make sort of a tunnel hide. So what we're going to do is add the substrate, add the balloon, and then we'll finish it off. look and uh, a lot of this will probably be all worked up and stuff like that might actually make it a little bit with this one actually because uh, obviously it's the first time I've used that excavator clay stuff but I think the overall effect is quite good. Really really simple to use as long as you've got like the patience for it to let it dry out it's all good. All right let's get the Balfour in. So, first one is this little speed demon. We've only got two in here. I had a tank with three in it. I've just emptied it and we could only find the one. So, I don't know what's going on there. But, there's one out. okay actually because the lip on this tank it's just run up into the corner that's all right 
number two is this one here. Feels a bit bigger. So, yeah, just to see how well they web this up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so we go both in. Little speed demons. Just leave them be to settle now. And that didn't last long. Now down to one bell for it. The larger one just ate it. Not cool. I don't think you can see there. Yeah. Did it. Yeah, so that's a pretty bummer end to this video actually. Um, it's still in there munching away somewhere on a smaller one. Um, I don't know what happened there. They were all like well fed and stuff before they were introduced to de together. So um, my conclusion is um, I wouldn't do it again, personally honest. Um, originally that small, I had two enclosures, one with the bigger one in it and another one with three in it. Um, so I was quite amazed that the one with three in it i only got one out of there so um i thought right we've still got two let's bung the two in together and obviously yes this has happened um i'm really really sort of annoyed and um i won't be trying it again in fact I, I, at the minute i just want to take the bathory out and flog it off it's just annoyed me so much um this is why green ball blues are better than balfouries um I'm so gutted. Um, I, I had this so like massive plans of you know having all four in there, um, then come down to um, fishing them all out the other tanks, and you find two, and now you're down to one. Um, peed off is uh, an un understatement, absolutely understatement. Um, but at the end of the day, the, the enclosure itself turned out awesome. Um, I'm really happy with the, the product itself. Um, it's really un um, easy to use. I think if you've got the patience to like wait until it dries out and, you know, um, because I've done the background in two different half, this, this took weeks, um, weeks and weeks to get it to this point where it was all fully dry and ready to put the Balfouri in. Um, um, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, actually, and I'm quite gutted. Um, yeah, it's something I won't be doing again, and um, to be perfectly honest, I just want to get shot at the Balfouri altogether. I'm just... Just one of them things. Um, what can you do? What can you do? Um, so, apart from that, guys, bummer end to the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the build itself, not the end. And... Thumbs it up, comment down below, show me some love, because I'm paid off. Um, and yeah, as usual, thumbs it up, comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell, do 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 do, and I shall see you later.